first of all, let's just talk to you about, I, I should check in like how the first few weeks here have been for you at, with the new program and, and you know, how the adjustments going for you as a coach. Yeah, no, it's been good. Obviously, I think we're 10 games in now and uh, still trying to navigate things and figure out how to be consistent, but I'm super proud of what we've done up to this point. Um, uh, eight and two, I'll take it. Um, you know, we uh, started out early and, and, did, and played really well, and um, I'm super proud of kind of what we were able to put together in a short amount of time, starting essentially mid-April um, until now, and uh, I'm super excited about the growth and kind of where we're headed. Yeah, it's funny how the, the rankings work around here. They, it's like a roller coaster. Like, you guys, you know, second last year, and then uh, yeah, I think you pay attention to that stuff. No, I mean, to be honest, I don't think we've talked about it once as a team. Obviously, as a staff, we have. Um, but to be honest, I'm not super concerned about what other people's opinion of us um, is and kind of where they think we fit. Um, we're worried about us and where we think we, we know what we're capable of, we know what we got to do, and we know where we want to be. Um, and that's really the main thing that we focus on is just trusting the process and uh, where we are now. Are we getting better? Um, obviously, we have goals. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously we see it on social media, but uh, it really doesn't dictate one way or the other kind of how we approach day to day. And how, how has it been having your point guard from Quincy here to kind of help instill that program? Yeah, no, it's been huge. It's been huge, obviously, being with her for two years and now uh, year three, obviously, with her and Gabby, the only two people that kind of knew knew what drills were, knew what terminology was. Obviously, they were huge and kind of uh, bridging that gap from all the new. I mean, essentially, nine new plus six returners. Um, really, I had 13 new players. So having those two kind of help bridge the gap um, teach the others, uh, bring everybody together. Um, yeah, knock on wood, I haven't had to play a game without her in two and a half years now. So, now let's talk a little bit about Reese. What would, you know, some of her fans from El Dorito Springs notice that's different about her now a couple years later? Yeah, I think you gotta think about, obviously she had a great uh, freshman year and was freshman of the year, um, but came off the bench and did that. You know, now she's kind of our go-to player. You know, we, uh, we go to her early in the game. I mean, she's, uh, her and Beth are leading us in scoring and I just, I don't think she realizes how good she could be and the potential she has if she's just in year two. But I think um, I think she's done a great job of accepting her role from coming off the bench and kind of blending in last year to now, hey, I'm kind of uh, leading this team and I'm a go-to player. So I think she's done good and um, adjusting her roles and taking on that uh, leadership and that ownership of uh, kind of what she can do. But uh, I think her growth is, is tremendous and I'm super excited um, about actually where she's headed. So. I, I feel like that sophomore year can be a funny year. You're no longer a freshman, but you're not an upperclassman yet. Like, how does she lead? You talk about her as a leader. How does that look? Um, if you know Reese, she's very quiet. Um, but I think um, if you watch her play, like those two personalities do not go together. She's really quiet, kind of in practice, um, off the court. But when you watch her play, big personality, I think makes a statement with her game, uh, does all the little things. I think she's ultra competitive. Um, so I think, um, I think that's probably how she leads the most is just by action. You know, she's not a super vocal person, but uh, she's, we talked about she does the details. She's going to do the little things. I um, mean, I think she leads by her action and her ultra competitiveness. So what is maybe something that if you, you don't see from the box score from Reese that really she brings this to you? Um, energy. Have you ever watched someone make a big play or a charge and her, you know, her emotion and kind of, uh, I definitely think we feed off of that. Um, you know, just uh, again, when you see her in a game and her rally people together and demand things of other people, I think her level of play um, is up here and it challenges everybody else to come meet her level of play. So I think that's one thing you probably don't see like on a stat sheet and what she brings to this team. What do you think is next for her in her stage of development? Um, to add the vocal leadership. Um, that's something I think we've been on her about. Um, and like you said, sophomore's kind of that weird, I'm a freshman, you don't say a lot. Now I'm a sophomore, I'm still not an upperclassman. I have a lot of older people uh, ahead of me, but um, you know, I mean, obviously her play is not at a sophomore level by all means. And uh, I think just adding that piece to her game um, and you know, we challenge her, we talk about all the time, uh, practicing every day like she plays. Cause I think, again, if you've ever watched her play, ultimate competitor 
you know, five on five when the lights are on. So um, just expanding that. Um, but I think if you watched her game last year, um, her game this year, uh, the consistency on both ends of the floor. She can guard, she can score, she can rebound, she can assist. Um, so I think she's just becoming a complete all-around player. Is there anything I didn't ask you about Reese you think belongs in the story? Oh, man. Um, Reese is a good dancer. I think she's, uh, she, as quiet as she is, she has a great personality. And in moments when you, uh, when she thinks no one's watching, you see that personality come out of her, the laughter. Uh, it's a running joke on the team that she's the best dancer on the team. But, uh, but I think, um, I think, I think the sky's the limit for her. I think she's got, you know, essentially two and a half more years. Uh, you know, I say all the time, I think, uh, no doubt if she can continue to do what she's doing. Um, I think she deserves to have her name thrown in the hat for player of the year. Um, and I think uh, that's something she can strive for for the next, essentially this year and the next two years. Now I heard something about her being a good singer. Is that all it's like a karaoke thing maybe? Um, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't necessarily heard the singing part, but I have experienced the dancing part.